Now at five, new developments in a case of a Metro police officer charged with domestic violence. Good evening. I'm Rafael Sanchez. Todd is off tonight. I'm Erica Fly. John Haggard is accused of abusing his wife and intimidating his police officer neighbor who tried to help. We were there as he made his initial court appearance today. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt is live in the newsroom. Jack. Well, Erica, the judge in this case denied a request by the prosecutor's office to place Officer Haggard on GPS monitoring. But the judge did put Haggard under court order, forbidding him from having any contact with his wife, his son, and his police officer neighbor. Officer John Haggard, a veteran Metro police officer, faces 17 criminal charges, 11 of them felonies. It's a case, the state says, where occupation offers no immunity from certain conduct, nor being held accountable for it. No, we certainly expect officers to know the law and to follow the law, but we expect that of any citizen. And we take allegations involving firearms, uh, involving children, very seriously. Prosecutors allege that Haggard and his wife returned home December 23rd from a family dinner. The wife told investigators that Haggard was drunk and became enraged when she criticized his erratic driving. He allegedly pummeled her in the driveway and again inside their far southwest side home. When a neighbor, the wife of an off-duty police officer, took Mrs. Haggard and their four-month-old son across the street to safety, Haggard allegedly broke into the residence and pulled a gun on the fellow officer in front of his two small children. Children. John, anything you want to say? No, we don't, we don't have any the charges facing Haggard have not escaped the attention of the Indiana Coalition Against Domestic Violence. This is only as secret of an issue as we allow it to be. We need to hold batterers consistently accountable, regardless of who they are or in what position they are in. And um, I think that message is being sent this time, and I'm impressed. I really am. If convicted of the most serious charge, Haggard faces the prospect of a prison sentence of up to 20 years. We would hope that the community takes from this that just because a person has a position of authority that our office does take accusations very seriously and that we'll investigate them. So if someone is afraid to come forward because of the position of their abuser, they shouldn't be afraid. They should pick up the phone and call someone and get help as quickly as possible. Now, the police department has suspended Haggard without pay, and Chief Height issued a statement less than 40 minutes ago encouraging officers and their families to seek counseling when needed. Erica? Jack, judging from all these charges, do you think the prosecutor is trying to make an example of Officer Haggard? Erica, I asked that question, and they said they looked at the facts and interviewed the witnesses. They said the charging decisions made in the case are based on those facts. Erica? All right, Jack Reinhart reporting live in the newsroom. Thanks, Jack.